Welcome back to We're Reading Virtual Storytime Summer Reading Program. This is the second craft and story for the week of June 20th, 2021, Farm Animals. Farmyard Beat by Lindsay Craig, illustrated by Mark Brown. Peep, peep, peep. Chicks can't sleep, chicks can't sleep, chicks can't sleep because they got that beat. Peep, 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 peep. All that peeping wakes up. Sheep, sheep can't sleep, sheep can't sleep, sheep can't sleep because they got that beat. Tat, tat, tatty de tat, 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 tatty de tat, tat. All that racket wakes up. Cat. Cat can't sleep. Cat can't sleep. Cat can't sleep because he's got that beat. Purr meow. Purr meow. All that racket wakes up. Cow. Cows can't sleep. Cows can't sleep. Cows can't sleep because they got that beat. Swish. Clank. Swish, swish, clank. Swish, clank. Swish, swish, clank. All that racket wakes old. Hank. Hank can't sleep. Hank can't sleep. Hank can't sleep because he's got that beat. Woof, hawoo, woof, hawoo. All that racket wakes up. Shh, shh. Look who's coming. Who, who, lantern swinging? Who, who? Farmer Sue, Sue can't sleep. Sue can't sleep. Sue can't sleep because she's heard that beat. Sue looks here, Sue looks there. No one here or anywhere with a yawn. She thinks she'll go to sleep when... Peep, 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 peep. Chicks can't help it, they got that beat. Then... Tat, tat, tatity tat, tat. Purr, meow, swish, clank, swish, swish, clank. Woof, hoo, hoo, hoo. Jig, jig, a jiggity jig, jig. Everyone's dancing to that beat till they fall in a heap asleep. Cock a doodle doo! I've got that beat. The end. Okay, so we're gonna make um, animal stick puppets, farm animals, um, and we're gonna make a little barn for them to go into. Um, you'll need 12 plain craft sticks. Um, they don't have to be colorful, but I picked the colorful thick ones for um, on the puppets. These are gonna be your little puppet um, faces, little farm animals. This will be the top of your barn. And then I'm gonna color with a um, marker the sticks but you can paint them if you want. It's just faster if you use crayons or a marker and less messy. Um, and then the colored pencils I'm gonna use on the stick puppets in the roof of the barn. Um, and then of course you'll need glue to glue the sticks together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is color all 12 of these sticks. And like I said, I'm just gonna make my barn red. And you can see I have paper down underneath so that I don't even have to worry about getting it on the desk or whatever. Um, but you really only have to color one side, you don't have to do the backs. And that shouldn't take much time at all, but we're gonna go ahead and do this. And then I'm gonna color the roof and the animals with colored pencil. Okay, so I got my sticks all colored. And now I'm gonna work on the barn. I'm gonna do the 
top red like actually I think I'm gonna do the top um, kind of black and then it'll be more of a gray color and then I'll work on my animals and you can make the animals regular like colors you would see in nature or you can make the animals funky I think I'll make mine funky so I'm gonna use different colors so let's go okay so I'm just finishing coloring my little animals and I gotta get rid of these colored pencils I'm just gonna put them aside clean up when we're done big of pencils. Um, I went ahead and grabbed a sheet of wax paper because I just think that we don't want it to stick so much. Um, before I do the little funky animals, look at that guy. See? Funky has fun right in it. We're going to go ahead and make our barn. And the way the barn's going to look gonna have four on one side, four on the other side, and two on the top and two on the bottom here, or from your direction, bottom and top. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is glue these together on the sides. I'm just going to put a line there and squish them. And remember, the um, school glue is pretty, dries pretty clear, so I'm going to stick this on here so it's out of my way. And this is going to have to sit overnight. I will take a picture of it to put in the end of the video when we're done. So we're just going to glue for the hair. These don't even look near perfect, which is totally fine. And four here. Remember, not all barns are new. There are a lot of old barns out there. And if you chose to make your barn a different color, I'd love to see it. I think barns could be much more colorful. Okay, so we've got those. We're gonna have to slide them a bit closer. Use this as our guide here. Okay. Those are pretty straight. And we're just gonna put a blob of glue. Glue that across the top. Way too much glue. Always, guys. I always use too much glue. Here we go again. So yeah, if your parents or grandparents or babysitters or whoever ask you, why are you using so much glue? Say, well, <laughs> this Nikki does it. Okay, so that needs to sit to dry. I have to really peel that off. And I know this is upside down for you guys. So I'm just going to put the roof on. I'm gonna put the roof across here. So. I made a blackish grayish roof. Now that I'll have to sit aside to dry. And like I said, I'll show you all tomorrow how it turns out. Um, and then we just got to glue these guys onto a stick. Doesn't matter what color stick goes to which animal. Um, you might rip these. These are pretty delicate. Some of the cutting I did. This little guy has a ripped leg. Um, but it can all be salvaged by a little glue. He's just going to be on there. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of glue. 
but that's okay. It will dry clear and his leg will be one piece again. I hope. Okay. So just put a little bit of glue on, glue the guys on, and we'll have our stick animals. We have to leave these to dry too. Okay, so here's our little barn and our little stickers. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Oink, oink, oink. So they can go right in there, and that's all there is to it. That's our little animal puppets for the barn.